Hi, I'm Sebastian. I'm the product manager for the observability group here at GitLab, and I'm going to be demoing our error tracking uh, feature that is going to be rolling out soon. So I've pre uh, we have this issue here uh, that uh, can be used to uh, track the uh, rollout of the uh, project of this demo that I'm going to be doing. Uh, so basically, this demo is in a staging environment that is running and that people can access and try out if they want. Uh, uh, just ask in the observability channel. But in the meantime, uh, if you are curious about how and when this is rolling out, this is detailed uh, in uh, this issue right here that uh, Nicholas is maintaining. So thank you very much to Nicholas. All right, so let's get started. So I have here, I have a, a GitLab uh, uh, instance that we've deployed just for demo purposes that is connected to an, a deployment of our um, GitLab observability stack, uh, previously known as Obstrace. So I'm going to be creating a, uh, our goal is to, to track errors sent from some demo code up into the interface that is uh, the, the, the GitLab Rails project, uh, but utilizing our new ClickHouse backend that is running uh, side by side. So I'll be starting a new project for this. So I'm locked in here. Uh, I'm gonna create a blank project. Uh, we're going to give it a name demo. Uh, it's great. And uh, why not make it public and create it? All right. So once that's done, all we have to do now is go to monitor error tracking, enable it. Uh, we are going to have to remove this. Uh, and since we're further along now, and now an error tracking here, I'm going to keep this activated and also select it here. All right, once this is done, all we really need to do now is to get some keys so that we can send errors to this interface right here which is empty. Uh, so to get the keys, we follow this documentation. Uh, there's a key already done by default, uh, but you can create and, uh, uh, and destroy keys as you want. We're going to be creating and destroy one for this demo. So uh, these, I need to know the project ID, which is five. All right, and I'm going to go to my terminal and we're going to create some keys this command. Uh, for that, you need to have a token set up. Uh, our project is project number five. So this will create a key that I will be able to delete after this public demo. There we go. So don't pay attention to this URL. We're, we're going to be, oh no, this URL actually works completely. So actually, we, let's not copy paste the key. Let's copy paste the entire URL. There we go. No, this is the wrong URL. This, don't pay attention to this URL. I'm going to create an issue to have it fixed to the new one. So we're going to take out this key. We're also gonna create an issue to rename this to private. Um, so this is the private token that we need to actually send some data from this Go code right here to our Opstrace backed error tracking backend using ClickHouse. So here we put in the token. This is the correct URL. This is the uh, URL of our uh, staging environment. And then we update the project here to number five. And that's it, actually. We just do go around, go. And this is basically generating errors and sending them to it. So now let's check. There we go. Three, three times I executed it, three errors received. If you take a look about it, we can see where the code panicked. It actually panicked in a bunch of places because that's what it's designed to do. We can create an issue right from here. Well, not yet, we'll fix that. And then uh, we can resolve or ignore that. All right, um, that's been it. Um, there's more to see uh, with uh, tracing, but uh, this is a short and sweet 
uh, error tracking demo. Any questions, uh, please ask them uh, either on the direction page or directly in the observability channel. Uh, thank you very much.